All right, day one, training Jack. So Jack is a German Shepherd, if I'm not mistaken, eight years old. He came here for a behavior mod, meaning he has a little bit of problems with a couple of dogs. He is a little bit reactive, had a little trauma in the past. So what's gonna happen is during this first week, he's still gonna start beginning to use the equipment, learning what the equipment is, what the command is, getting used to myself, and just working with me. Slowly, we're gonna show him all the night commands one by one, getting him used to me, the commands, the equipment we're gonna be using after that. We are still working around other dogs. Then we're gonna start getting a little bit closer to dogs, meaning the distraction's gonna be on me versus I'm paying attention to other dogs. So this is just week one, let's get to it. This intake, I'm working with Willow. She's a Wheaton Terrier puppy, very cute, displaying pretty normal puppy behaviors, jumping real crazy, real mouthy. We're gonna work on her with some manners, obviously introduce our obedience and get all of that going so that hopefully when she goes home with her family, she can, you know, be able to still have, you know, fun and be a puppy, but not be out of control. Even though I just met her, I'm very excited to work with her over the next two weeks. I love puppies and I love terriers, so she's gonna be real fun and a good challenge. So day one, Archer's first day, he came in, he was told, we were told that he was aggressive and bitey. After pulling him out and working with him, he wasn't so bitey, he was just scared and he just needed to be walked around and that's what brought out a lot of his energy and he ended up doing really, really well. Hey, how's it going guys? It's Gene again. We're gonna be talking about Jack again, so day one, we already saw he was struggling. Smart dog, struggling a little bit with some commands. He's been struggling a little bit with down just cause he is a little bit old, but we're slowly introducing that command down with a little bit of leash tension downwards. So that way he understand, hey, I'm trying to tell you to go down. And he's actually doing good with it. So now what's gonna happen is from here on out, we're gonna start implementing more 3D, meaning the session, duration, and distance so that's what's going to happen up in the next upcoming week we're going to be working on distance duration and distraction with all those commands we can sit down come place off and anything like that we're at the end of week one and willow is doing amazing she's so cute so much fun to work with a lot of energy we've been having a lot of play time a lot of bonding confidence building and working on our obedience and she's coming along very nicely i can't wait to see how she's doing at the end of next week when she goes home going over archer and his time here day one going over his sheet it said that he was a bit aggressive and bitey he hasn't shown any aggression since being here or tried to nip whether it was playfulness or out of fear or skittish. Going into the end of this week, he's doing really well. He's doing all of the commands. He's getting a little testy on the down, but we're working through that part. He does everything else pretty good, and we can't wait to see how good he's gonna become. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. All right, so Jack, he's about to go home. We've been working on those three Ds, distance, duration, and distraction, and started all the commands. He did great on those, luring him with food, teaching him all those commands with the e-collar, just food luring, leash tension, all that fun stuff. The only one he was struggling with was down. During this past week, we've been working on that down, luring him with treats. He was still fighting it a little bit more and didn't want to go because it is a vulnerable position for dogs. So slowly we taught him, hey, you can still go to that down position. You should be good on it. So now he's going home. Gonna miss that guy. He is very smart. Caught up into all the commands real quick. Hopefully he'll go home, feel great with his family, and we'll see him in new class. Today is Willow's last day of training and she's doing so good. I'm very excited to send her home. At the beginning, she was really struggling with just your typical puppy behaviors, and we really worked through all of that, and she's doing so much better. I am really gonna miss Willow. She was one of my favorite dogs to work with. She's super fun, super sweet, super cute, and I'm real excited to see how her owners react to her training. So with Archer, when he first showed up, he was very scared and skittish. He did get a little nippy at times, but then once he was here for a little bit, he started to realize where he was at and it's a comfortable place for him. Once he got through that barrier, we decided to go and test him through other areas of his training, see what 
else he can do outside of just the basic stuff. So we had him skateboarding, we had him do a standing high five, we had him run the obstacle course. He just enjoys everything and now he's a great dog all around. He's not aggressive or nippy, he's not scared anymore. He's completely open and now he's doing everything really well. So we're excited to send him home and see how the owners feel.